Well, we're just, just rigging rig the Ikigami at the moment. Yeah. 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 Sort out a few little minor problems. We've got the camera just about working. We've got a picture out of it of sorts, which is a miracle in itself. And this is the lens package which fits into the camera. The focus seems to work, but the zoom is not operating um, smoothly, it's seizing up. So I've taken it out. Normally this would have a cover on it, but it's missing. Um, and I'm just feeling physically whether it feels stiff, the, the server, the, the lens zoom server. It's very stiff. So I'm just trying to give it a wangle by hand to see if it's free. It probably hasn't been used for ages. But so far, so good, really. I mean, so, when was the last time you had Sorry. your hands? When was the last time you had your hands on one of these cameras? Um, about 1980. Was the last, the last show we did, I did with these cameras was in 1980, and um, we had for ten, ten years here in service. Just about. I remember them arriving and commissioning yeah. these, these trucks, and then we didn't see any big deal then. You know, we did it right. New, new cameras, new t technology. Even then, was moving pretty quick. Um, and these went right. the, the next generation came which had trix cable you could break them much further from the scanner in one go and um, that was progress and they just off to next week new scanner arrived new gear that feels a bit easier so I'm going to try it in now and see if I can do it so these cameras are really unusual. The cam if you look in here, if you look in the camera, most cameras are camera and the lens clips on the front. But if this one, if you see, there's a great hole there, and the idea was to build the camera, all the, the electronics round it, and have a hole in the middle to put the lens in, so it made the whole camera much more compact for working in the studio. And that's why they were very popular with the camera. Like that. Serious investment. Right. Yeah, because it gave you Let's see if there's any. Oh, it's better. Yeah, that's made a big difference. It, you could hardly. It's Did you motor it end to end? About 50 times. Yeah. yeah. And now it's seizing up again. Mm. It might be a case of the WD-40, if we've got any. Seriously. It might, it might just be a matter of... Uh, what I'd like to do when you have a... Yeah. When you reach a pause with the camera, with the lens position, yeah. is to see whether, if we disconnect the viewfinder, yeah. you can get it stops the flashing yeah. in the scanner or the camera. Yeah. OK, well, that's, oh, that's good. Picture, no? We had a picture yeah. for a while, but the yeah. zoom was... was is play enough oh, not to get yeah. the zoom. It will focus. So it's got a full range of focus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But not on. It's it, you can feel it very very stiff physically. Yeah. So mm. touch the WD forties. Perhaps you never know. It might, might we sort of probably ought to ask the owners. Indeed. We, Do you want me to disconnect the viewfinder? That would be yeah. good. I think. Okay. Yeah. Twink came in and has just asked me to disconnect the viewfinder to see whether it has any effect oh, on the hum from the hum. Mm. So that's where yeah. we are at the moment. So. 